Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today we're going to look through the outdoor kitchen. I have no idea what it's about other than live fire cooking from the grill. I am very fascinated by outdoor cooking as we're edging into autumn and winter. Half of that, or part of that, is because I'm going to have to entertain outside because of the coronavirus quarantine and being safe. So I invite friends to my backyard. And I don't want to spend the whole time in the house in the kitchen and they're out in the backyard drinking wine by the bonfire and chatting. So I'm going to try and cook outside. The other half of that is every six or seven or so years, my neighborhood loses power for a week to 10 days. It's crazy. And I end up cooking outside on a fire pit that wasn't really designed for it. And it works, but I really like to up my game and not just barbecue. This is by Eric Werner of Hartwood with Nails Bernstein. Okay. I grabbed it from my local library. It's from 10 Speed Press. Let's see what year it is. I have to be careful because it's a library book. To, oh, this is nice. To Maya, my partner, friend, and the love of my life. Through your confidence, strength, and creativity, I'm forever inspired. Aww. Okay, contents. Part one, the outdoor kitchen. Introduction, my outdoor kitchen. How to build your own outdoor kitchen. Ooh, I wasn't planning on building anything. Okay, maybe my boyfriend will get bored. Equipment list. Now, part two, recipes. Vegetables and sides. Fish and seafood. Poultry, pork, beef and lamb. Desserts and, oh, cocktails. Do I need to cook those outside? Okay, I need to drink them while I'm cooking. Well, let's check out, so far, so good. Good photography. Part of my autofocus that's acting kind of weird today. So... I'm a huge vegetarian, but I don't mind if my boyfriend cooks meat on the grill, but I will be skipping over those recipes. Here he's showing you his massive outdoor kitchen. That's a bit much. Fire and iron. Children standing around eating. Happy, happy. Okay. How to build your own outdoor kitchen. Ooh. That's cool, though. I admit that looks, that looks doable. That's not just a barbecue. Oh, this is getting... Whoa, it is a grill. It's cute. Okay. Too complicated. Boyfriend can do that. La, la, la. That's great. Glad that info is in there for you. I am not going to be doing that. Wow. Okay. Buying wood. You have to have the right kind of wood. Okay. This says you can buy small quantities of seasoned hardwood at most larger hardware stores, supermarkets, or online. This is a good way to start. The wood will be collect correctly labeled and free of insects. It's also kiln dried and lights very quickly. Okay. When you're ready to commit to a larger and more economical quantity, buy a quart of wood from a local dealer. And I am going to do that. Because I love fire. Oh, wow. The plancha. A plancha is simply a large flat griddle. Is that like a plank? Okay. Equipment list. Part two. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Ooh, meat. Recipes. Whoa, fish. Okay. Have fun. I was thinking of cooking, there we go, eggplant and pancakes and pasta. Vegetables and sides. We'll just go through really quick. Cauliflower steaks with beer raisin glaze. Crudités with grilled green goddess dip. Green rice with charred broccoli. I love green rice. Honey chipotle onions. Beets with pickled greens. Celery root, eggplant, carrots, grilled corn, eggplant dip. Hot pickles and cold pickles. Wild mushrooms. Quick sauerkraut. Grilled potato salad. Grilled zucchini with feta. It all sounds awesome. Oh, there's a little bookmark. How nice. The pictures are a bunch of food that's been grilled, so there might... Oh, colorful. This is cool. Uh, besides the what you need, serves how many people, how much it makes, here's the instructions. There's a little tips, like for an outdoor dinner, most people would expect you to serve grilled vegetables with a straightforward dip, but here I've done something slightly more expect, unexpected and paired them with a grilled dip. Wow. No pictures of the green rice and broccoli. No pictures of the honey chipotle onions. Sad face. Beets with pickled beet greens. Into the fire, cooking in the embers. Things like winter squash, onions, cabbage, beets, potatoes, peppers, radicchio, and endive. Helpful. Nice picture. Celery root and horseradish slaw. I like this. Grilled eggplant with mole. I'm probably not making mole. That's days of work. Charred carrots in carrot puree. Yum. I hope you can see that. Grilling pictures, grilled corn. Okay, we know how to grill corn. I'm not going to show you the whole book. Ten things to do with extra grilled corn, such as corn ice cream, which I have tasted, and I would never buy it, but it's good. Pickled corn. Corn stock, corn fritters. Okay. 
I like this book. Pickles. Hot pickles, cold pickles. Didn't know that involved cooking outside on a grill. Wild mushrooms with chiles and chestnuts. Love the pictures when they have them. And they, they actually have a pretty generous amount of pictures. Grilled tomato gazpacho. Yum. Amber roasted onion salad. I like that this is stuff you can get year round, at least here in the Seattle area. We can get artichokes. I'm going to skip the fish and seafood section because it's horrific to me. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Woo! Some meat. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, shrimp. Okay, there's poultry. Okay. Poultry. Butterfly chicken with toasted mustard seed oil. Leftover chicken curry salad. Butterfly chicken with pickled mustard seeds. Chicken legs with onion. Quail salad. Duck breasts. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Mustard seeds two ways. And here's... Okay, I bet you want to see the ingredients on the meat chapter. Pork chops. Pork chops. Pork chops. Pork. Okay. Bean and ham hock soup, pork payards in a pie. Okay, let's get to the cocktails and dessert. Skirt steak, tri-tip with American mole, filet mignon with herb mayo, dry-aged shell steak with whipped blue cheese. I've never heard of a shell steak. Okay, porterhouse steak with butcher salt. Okay, New York strip, lamb T-bones, lamb burgers, desserts. Pumpkin pasilla ice cream, bay leaf pudding. What? No, thank you. Burnt strawberry ice cream, grilled fruit with yogurt and honey, smoked chocolate mousse, grilled banana trifle, Concord grape cheesecake. Cheesecake on a grill? Okay, nice. Okay. What are we doing on outdoor cooking in order to make cocktails? We're just making. No, nope. they're actually not kidding. Time out. You are going to. Place lemons cut side down over high heat until they're charred and soft. And then using tongs, hold the thyme sprigs over high heat until they start to color, give off with the smoke. So you're actually putting some of the ingredients on the grill before you throw them in your cocktail, like the Bloody Mary. Interesting. Okay, that was interesting. I, I might have to get a copy of this and because I have to return it to the library soon. What did you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below this video. Thanks for watching and follow Cookbook Divas on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Pinterest is coming. Bye.